We knew Butler would not point the finger at Blair. We knew Butler would not point the finger at any government minister. We think it is time that government ministers now admitted they were wrong, that they apologised, but more importantly, they stand aside for somebody else who will withdraw the troops from Iraq and who will pledge not to start wars at the behest of George Bush. Well, I think that we've got to look at this um, in, a, in a very uh, objective way, but people have got to take um, responsibility for their mistakes. I think Scarlett failed to stand up to pressure from government, I think that's quite obvious, and therefore he should resign, that's part of his job. Blair should resign for exaggerating the case for going to war and for not questioning two pieces of intelligence that appeared after the first draft of the September dossier had been produced. And it's quite clear that other heads of the intelligence service on the JIC signed off that document without knowing what they were signing off. The overall message is essentially this was cock-up, not conspiracy. There are some pretty trenchant observations in this report, and Lord Butler makes it clear that in his judgment there were a number of failures of process actually at all levels along the way. But in the end, he makes it pretty clear that in his judgment, Tony Blair was not setting out to deceive anybody, for which reason this report doesn't contain that silver bullet which could have toppled him.